Whoa. Whoa. I heard buzz go off. Can I help you, sir? Well, I'm having troubles with my uh, zippy turn mower. You got one of them uh, boogie mowers? Yeah, with a little lever on it. What seems to be a problem? Uh, I can't get it started. I think it's the battery. I gotta keep jump starting it. You got a new battery in it? I put a new battery in it. So it's just not charging the battery? It's just not charged. Okay. Uh, and uh, who's this lawnmower for? It's uh, for Chuck Hill. Chuck Hill? Yeah. Because you look familiar. You got some brothers? Yeah, I got two brothers. Is it uh, Jack Hill and Rod Hill? That's right. Those are my brothers. What, what, what y'all triplets? We sure are. Yeah, because I'll say, you guys are in here a lot. You often seem like you have an awful lot of lawnmower problems. Oh, yeah. Well, we All got right. a ton of mowers. All right, well, I'll have a, a full around the back, drop it off, and uh, we'll, we'll get a look at it and find out why it ain't charging battery. All right. Sounds okay. Good. All right, Chuck. See you, Chuck, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, right Chuck. Right. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of things you need to check on one of these crawler engines if you have the problem where it's not charging the battery. So you're going to need yourself a multimeter. And the first thing you're going to do is hook this meter to the battery. Red to positive, black negative. And you're going to set your meter for DC voltage. And then you're going to run the mower and while it's running at full throttle, you're going to check and see if you're getting over 12 volts. If you're not, if it stays here in this range here, then it ain't charging the battery. And one of the things it could be is the voltage regulator. Now the voltage regulator... That's this little booger right here. This is the AC voltage on the outside, and this is your DC voltage. And I don't mean AC, DC, the rock and roll band. This is AC, and this is DC. This is where your 12 volts will come out. This could be bad, but to test that, what we're gonna do is, you take your meter, and now you set it to AC voltage. Now you can see these wires, these two white ones are coming from underneath. This is where the, the alternator is. So you would set it to AC voltage and you take your meter and hook it to those two white wires and then you would run the mower and then you'd watch the meter to see if you get a voltage reading. Now you need about 34 to 41 volts AC. If you don't get that, then that means there's a problem with your alternator. Now, a common problem with these crawler engines is these magnets underneath the flywheel, they come unstuck. And what they do is that they're just glued on with a little booger snot. And they come off, and what you gotta do is pull the flywheel and glue them back on. And I'm gonna show you how to do that properly so when you put it back together, this thing is going to put out some juice. It's going to start charging that battery again. Okay, so we're going to show you that in the next step. Okay, I'm going to show you how to pull a flywheel on this crawler engine. I'm going to use an impact wrench to take this nut off, but you could use a, a regular wrench if you don't have an impact. Zip that out. Take the washer off. Screw that bolt back in there. Screw it all the way down. Then you need yourself a pry bar and a hammer. That's all you need. Put some pressure on that flywheel and then whack it in the middle. There you go. There's your dinner. Then you gotta take these coils off. Yep, looky there, looky there. See, them magnets done come off. That's why this thing ain't putting out no juice, ain't percolating like it should be. Now I'm gonna show you how to take them magnets 
and glue them back inside here and this thing's gonna work again. We're gonna show you that on next step. Okay, what you need, what you're gonna need to do this, you're gonna need some quick weld, some quick weld adhesive, JV weld, that's what we use, that works good, that's good stuff, JV weld. That's almost like welding. You need some of this. Clothes fins. I'm this clothes fin. Hi, Terrell. Are you going to use me as a shim, shim them magnets? You know I am, boy. Use these as shims, and they need some of these spring clips. You going to clamp us on those magnets, Terrell? Hey, sure are, boy. I'm going to clamp you on there, boy. Now, these magnets have a pole, a north pole and a south pole. All right, South Pole like Santa Claus, and North Pole, that reminds me of a girl, Destiny. She used to dance at the North Pole. But anyway, that's another story. So you see, you got yourself another one of these sticky magnets here. One of these ones here. Now, see how that sucks that in? That sucks that in. So we're gonna take us a paint pan. Where my paint pan at? And we're gonna mark this one. All right, then we're going to grab another magnet. See, that's sucking that one in. We're going to mark that one. We should have three like that and three that do the other thing. Oh, see that one? That one wants to push away on the corner. Now, you got to do this on the corners. See, that one, that one don't, it's pushing it away. So that one we ain't going to mark. Oh, that one's repelling. It's pushing away. Says it don't like me. Don't like that magnet. Yep, that one's sucking it in. See, it's sucking that in. We're going to mark that one. That one's repelling. Now, got to get sandpaper. Clean this up real good. And then you're going to put these in. You're gonna kind of dry fit them before you mix up the glue. So you want one like that, 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 and one like that. And then when you get done gluing them all back in, it's gonna work again. Now if you had, if you didn't know that, if you just thought, well, magnet's a magnet and didn't do my little trick, and you had it like this, ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. Ain't gonna work one bit. You're wasting your time. And if you take it apart and these magnets is broken, you got, you got to buy a new flywheel. Can't get these magnets. They don't sell just these magnets. You can't buy them. So, I'm gonna show you how to do it when it's all done. So I'm not, what you wanna do is, you, when I go back like this, and then you take your little, these little shims so you get the right spacing. You want to have equal space. And these work good for that. So you got them spaced equally when you go to glue them. And go put those little snap clips on there. So you got to do a little fussing, a little messing around, make sure you get it all right. And then once you get that, your, your space all set, then you want these down about an eighth of an inch from the top. Now you can measure it with a measuring tool or you can, you know, something that's about eighth inch thick down. That's, that's kind of important, it ain't real important, it'll still work. And then you mix up your glue once you get all your shims set and then you, you butter the back of them, you know, mix up your stuff and butter the back of them, stick them in one by one and put them clips on there to hold them in place. Let it dry, and then put it back on. But we'll show you that step next, and then how to set the coils and all that in the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and go ahead and glue them all in and show you how it looks when it's all now done. Now we're all glued in here, but I want to just run over a couple of things. Now, you see how I got that all clamped? Zoom in on that, boy. This was my starting point. So that way, I could clamp this magnet and I could clamp this magnet. I had an area to clamp to. See how I did that? So this is your starting point right here in this area where these magnets are for the ignition. 
So you start here and you work your way around. Now see how I did that? See how I made the shims out of clothes fins? Perfect all the way around, they got the right spacing. Now this is all done and dried. Now you don't have to use JV Weld if you got something Another kind of adhesive that you think is better, then you just go ahead and use it. But I use JB Well. See, there's my marks. One, one without a mark, mark, out of mark, mark, mark. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall this. And then we're going to show you how to set the coils. And then we're going to start it, start it up. And then we're going to show you how it's going to be charging. And then you got all fixed, you put it all back together, and you start mowing grass. Now okay? you can see we cleaned this up. We took it outside and we gave it a pressure scrubbing. Got it all nice and clean. Now another thing you want to look at too is you want to look at your, your alternator here and make sure that it's not damaged at all. Because the only insulation on this wire is that shellac that they put on there. Now if you wear through that shellac, it's going to short out between itself and this alternator will be no good and it still ain't going to charge. But this one looks like it's pretty good. I think we can get by with this one. I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and take this impact wrench. We're going to tighten that flywheel nut down. Now this is very important. If you got one of these, use it. If not, you're just going to have to try to tighten that nut as tight as you can. Because if you don't, that thing will sear that flywheel key and it will throw that timing off and, and that thing won't start. <laughs> oh, went the wrong way. Get that sucker as tight as you can. Put your coils on. And we got a set them at 10,000. This is very important. Cause see, they, we got, they move on there. Now, if you had it like that, and this thing come around, it's gonna hit it. You're gonna break that thing right off. You're gonna break it off the motor, that motor's junk. You can't fix that. Ain't no fixing that. So you gotta know what you're doing. You're probably thinking, Terrell, you probably did that. That's why you know how I did that. Hell yeah, I did that. Had to buy a new motor for a guy. Cause of my dumb ass, dumb, dumb, stupid self. I don't want to cuss. I shouldn't be cussing. My dumb butt. Ten thousands is what I said, Matt. I got ten thousands right here. Stick that in there. Line this magnet up. Loosen it. Magnet's gonna suck it tight against there. Snug her down. Spin it. Go to the next one. Stick that ten thousands in there. There's your dinner. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and reassemble this motor and then we're gonna check it, start it, and then uh, put the meter on it and show you that it's charging, okay? Got it all back together. I'm gonna put the meter on DC voltage. Your meter may vary. And we're gonna fire this, this baby up. Can you zoom in on that meter? See, this has got a good strong battery. It's got 13 volts in it. All right, let me get a full choke here.
working. You see, we checked here the alternator from under the flywheel. It's footing out 43. Was it 43, Mr. Cameraman? Yep. And we saw that it was footing out 14 volts. So we fixed it. So there's your dinner. <laughs> Another one here at Grass Rass Garage.